Well, it's an honor as a songwriter to have people sing your song, even if it is butchered. <laughs> so I wrote a book. It's called Saying It. intermittently here, uh, little snippets of it. I was able to finish it uh, uh, in 2020 because there wasn't much else to do. <laughs> and I uh, came out in 2021, uh, uh, St. Martin's Press, Macmillan, happy to say they uh, have done uh, a nice job for me and got it out to the stores. Uh, and this is uh, the, the little snippet from the top. It's called Prologue. <laughs> Where do songs come from? Hell, I don't know where songs come from. I learned how to write songs by writing songs. I quit high school, I quit college, I didn't go to music school, and I don't follow directions. It's my nature to challenge authority and do things my own way. I call this stubbornness entrepreneurial. But I'm willing to listen if I'm given a choice, and Deb, my beloved therapist of decades, <laughs> found a workaround for me when offering a suggestion, she'll say, Mary, I would like to invite you to consider. <laughs> it actually works. So this book is a, con a collection of stories, observations, and ideas that I'm inviting you, the reader, to consider. People ask me if I think songs can change the world. And my answer is absolutely they can. And here's how I think it works. A song can change a heart by creating empathy. A changed heart then has the power to change a mind, and when a mind changes, a person changes. When people change, that's how the world changes. One song, one heart, one mind, or one person at a time. Bruce Springsteen said, music is a repair shop. Basically, I'm a repair man. <laughs> He's right, the boss knows. Songs have the power to repair hearts and help heal souls. That's why I call this book Saved by a Song.